it's Margaret. I am here to do the office tour that I have promised. It is not 100% where I want it, but I did have to go through and straighten a little bit. Hopefully y'all can hear me. I got the hand over the mic. Look at, look, look, eh? there we go. Um, I want to say first and foremost, I got to sunburn today. I got the sunburn from the sun by the poo. I was in the shade, y'all, okay? I just had to put that out there. I was in the shade, so I'm looking a little bit weird, color-wise. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, and I'm looking the wrong way. Okay, we're just gonna, if you guys do Marco Polos, just pretend like this is a Marco Polo, and you just, you're hearing from your good old friend, gonna do a Marco Polo and talk to you. Okay, so, uh, as you guys know, I have gotten back into starting selling hard goods and stuff again. But uh, let's just take a walk. I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. I mean, to flip it around. Uh, we're going to hit the uh, flipperoo, and I will walk you about the office. All right, so we're coming in. This, this is my place of work. Now, this is my incoming inventory stuff for my friends, my jewelry loving friends. These are my, these are the Goodwill jewelry blue boxes that I have not opened yet. Look, this one says done. Cause I'm like, I think I did this one already, <laughs> but I put them there cause I don't normally peek beforehand. And I know I get people say, how can you not look? I just don't, I get them and I put them on the shelf until I can share them. Then down here is my inventory that I have not done a whole video with yet or listed and except for that I've decided I might not sell it or that <laughs> or that that was my grandmother's Gillies mirror bar mirror that's two thread up fun boxes I haven't unboxed yet hey y'all and then in here is where I keep all of like packing material boxes and apparently a giant unicorn head that I there okay there there so that's where I put a lot of my packing boxes and stuff in the tub in here. And I don't really use the bathroom for the bathroom, obviously. Obviously. And then coming around, let's see, up there I've got, this is some of my listed Lego. I haven't listed all these minifigs yet. And that's some more envelopes like bubble mailers. Then over here is more jewelry that is unlisted that I need to list. That is an air conditioning because this room gets really, really hot. The AC does not blow in here. And that is my lucky horseshoe. That was my grandmother. She used to ride in rodeos and when, in the forties. Well, I think I've shown y'all pictures. Let me see if I can find a picture of her. Well, I don't know. I got pictures of her around. Maybe I'll show you one. Uh, then here's my desk, desk, where I record videos and get natural lighting and whatnot. These are some things I'm trying to decide if I want to clean up and list or not. Eh. Uh, here, this is where I try to keep stuff handy, you know, like my scale and all of my little doodads that I need. Normally I had a picture of grandmother in here from the 40s. I had it on my car. Oh, here it is. Yeah, 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 here it is. Yeah, here it is. So there, that's my grandmother. She used to ride rodeos in the 40s. She's like 18, 19 in that picture. She's young. And... Anyway, that's her. Uh, then this, I just actually moved over here, so I'm not quite sure. I'm probably going to do something shipping wise with it because I'm always having to turn around or grab, you know, so I'm thinking I might put something, some frequently used items over here. And then this is kind of my personal area, I would say, like all my nesting dolls up there. <laughs> this is my jewelry, like testing stuff, jewelry testing and cleaning all goes up there because of the chemicals and acids. I wanted to get it up high. And this was my grandmother's. I have some, some of the things that were my grandmother's I have in here, like this urn up here. These are clearly books, jewelry books, whatnot. And I am always looking for Staffordshire dogs. Stafford, Staffordshire dogs. I love them. And so that's a one that I have. I won't buy them full price. So you know how it is, thrifters. This is my doll, grandmother's doll. 
that y'all tell me I should get rid of because she's haunted. And then Groucho. Groucho used to always be behind all my videos, and now he's over there. Let's see what else I've got. I've got some jewelry jars. And what else is over here? Just, I mean, I have little bits, like whenever I go to do a video, I want to make sure I look nice and my hands are moisturized and all that fun stuff. So that is that. And then some shipping stuff over here. Then these are all jewelry. All of that is <laughs> jewelry, unlisted, etc. All of that is unlisted jewelry. And then over here, this is a mix. These are some shoes I've started trying to clean and figuring it out. They're not listed though. And then those are those um, dinosaur blow up, whatchamajoles? What do you call it? Oh my gosh, you guys. Uh, costume, that's the word. And that is listed. It's just big, so I have it over there. Now here's how I do my jewelry. I have these drawers. N stands for necklace, B's bracelet. These are cufflinks. This is STE, stands for silver tone, gold tone. Oh, the E stands for embellished. So that means like it, it's got like a stone or something. Sorry, like that. So it's embellished. So there's silver, gold, and then silver tone, embellished, etc. That way if I sell one and it's just like a straight silver tone one, I know, just go to this silver tone. If it's silver tone and it's got like a stone or something, silver tone embellished. That's what I do. Then pins, etc., etc., all through there. And then rings I have in here. If they're too big, I put them in this. You know, it says orange fibers, but that's not what that is. Um, chunky bracelets, more jewelry buckles. This is belts. I have to finish getting labels on some of these. So because I stopped selling hard goods for a little while, some of my tubs don't have labels anymore. So this will be like figure figurines or animals or something. And then this will be like Christmas ornaments. And then electronics is usually where I put a little electronic things that I pick up. Then on my shelves, I have the wire shelves, but I'll put these bubble mailers or sometimes I'll put like a cardboard box to have it on the other side. That way things are not getting indented by these wires. Now the metal stuff, it won't matter, but like boxes or other things it might. So this is all listed hard goods. Then up there, I've got purses, bags. These are listed plush uh, hats at the moment. And then I'll probably, I usually have a big one. That'll be for the toys. And I can't remember what I used to have on the other one. And then over here, I've got one of my, it's, you know, one of these like boxes, shadow boxes where I put little fun things, things like some of them are things people send me from videos, you know, like friend mail. Some of them are fun things I find or rocks, etc. things that I like. Yeah. So, and then of course, I love you, mommy. Yeah. So there's all that fun little stuff, camera lights. And then over here, we've got packaging materials. I buy from Uline. It's expensive to ship, but that's just what I do. And then these drawers down here are filled, like these are filled with bags and uh, bags, yeah. And over here, more mailers. Same thing in the drawers below. I have, you know, just handy so I can turn around and grab them when I'm shipping. And then in the bottom, I have some boxes over there. Let's see, like boxes down underneath. Okay. Then this is actually stuff for me. Like I'm gonna, I want to tie dye. This is all the stuff I keep wanting to trying to get the kids to tie dye with me. That's a dress that I bought. I'm probably gonna keep. And those are those placemats I need to clean and take downstairs. And then over here we've got more listed stuff. This is usually where I put like mugs and breakables. And again, I put this has got the cardboard underneath so that it doesn't like wiggle and bump into each other and stuff. Uh, same thing up here, frames, books, I'll stack over here, hard goods, and then same deal up top, big hard goods. Underneath is, some of it's just like printer stuff and paper, 
yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's, I'm short. So I've had people meet me in person and they're like, oh, you're shorter than I thought. I'm short, y'all. Short. So I need a, a step ladder. And then this is my screen that I put behind the videos. I think that's it. This is the room. The room of requirements. There you have it, my peeps. The room of requirements. Yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, yeah, and I will talk to you on the next one. Bye.